Hello, it's Editor Grace. I just wanted to preface before you watch this video that I am sick for like the first half of this video, and you can tell. So, she's looking pale, she's a bit snotty, the energy is not too high, but throughout we get a little bit more alive. So I apologize in advance, but I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. It's a little bit of a long one. Yeah, I hope you like it. Let me know, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Guys, I will not lie to you, I just filmed this and then I watched it back and I was like, wow, you look miserable. Every time I move, the camera shakes. I need to stop moving. Hello guys, it is the 20th of February, it is a Tuesday and I'm just filming this little intro to my next reading vlog. So in my last video, I filmed me reading um, my Lip Thick Pick of the Month, Cleopatra and Frankenstein. That was a five star read, I am buzzing about it still. I just, it left me on a bit of a buzz and I really wanted to pick up my next book, which has turned out to be In Ascension by Martin McInnes. This is my sci-fi pick of the month. We're just like to kind of fill you in. I picked nine books for my immediate TBR to read this month based off of nine genre categories that I created from my big old reading list that I have stored on my story graph of like 250 books. So I divided all of those up into nine categories and then chose one from each just so that I'm like reaching for different genres, trying different types of books that I haven't really tried before. And this is in fact my first sci-fi read. I am now 215 pages through this book. It's about 500 pages, so I'm nearly halfway. So I thought I could make this a little bit of a series and film myself reading the different genres that I have chosen for myself for this month's TBR. So far, I am enjoying it. It's very fast paced. I haven't felt bored once. I, r I actually don't really understand what's going on, to be honest. Like, I get that she's you know what it is? It's very sciencey, and I, that sounds silly because it's literally a science fiction. It's actually very technical, and I feel like if you study like a STEM subject, you might kind of grasp this a little bit better than I'm grasping it. I don't quite understand what's going on, but I'm trying my best with the plot and the character because the science part, I know I'm never really going to understand properly from what i am understanding it is interesting it's got, it's got quite like an existential feeling to it like with the descriptions you know what i get from it i get from it what i believe interstellar gives if you've seen that film you know when you're watching it and it's all quite out of this world i mean literally but like also it kind of pushes boundaries in terms of the visual that it's giving you. This is doing that, but in book form. So it's kind of hard to understand what she's, what visual she's trying to pass into your brain, but I'm trying my best to keep up. Overall, I am grasping what is going on and I am enjoying it and I'm intrigued to see where it goes and what happens. I feel like some kind of big revelation is gonna take place, some big twist, some like world changing stuff is going to start happening in the second half of this book so i am excited it's about a woman who had a a rough childhood didn't have a good time at home and kind of escaped into this science world this world of marine biology and the ocean is like her kind of escape and i feel like learning about how the world works scientifically helps her to kind of understand and grasp what was happening to her, happening to her emotionally at home so she studies microbiology uh, marine biology and she ends up going on different exhibitions research research exhibitions so she's on one which is on a boat and they go out and they find a trench that's like the deepest trench that's ever been found or something on the planet and then from that I don't want to give too much away, but from there she then ends up going and working for like a NASA subdivision. So she goes from like marine to space because I think they use oceans and like the water as like a practice environment for space because it's the closest it gets to like zero gravity or something, I think. Anyway, like I said, I'm grasping the plot, but maybe not the specifics of like the science parts of it. I would say so far I am enjoying it. I don't know if I'm particularly enthralled by it. It's very fast paced, it's large text. <laughs> so I feel like I'm gonna fly through the second half. So I wanted to pick up the camera and finish the experience with you so I can give you my thoughts as we go. I wanted to say thank you to anyone who leaves really lovely comments on my videos. It actually makes my day, I can't lie. I've had such nice comments. See, it's so nice when somebody just comments and says that they enjoyed it too. So, thank you. 
I'm such, you see, I'm technically a Gen Z, I think, because I'm 25, but like, I, you will not catch me doing any of this. What, how do they even, this kind of, is it like that? How does that heart work? <laughs> It's a really strange experience reading this book because my my initial reaction is I'm really enjoying it. I've been absolutely flying through it. I like look forward to pick it up. It's going really fast. There's like a lot of very interesting things going on and it's super like suspenseful and it's caught my attention, etc, etc. And then the other side of it is it's f absolutely jam-packed full of scientific terminology, scientific stuff, because it's a science fiction. The whole plot is kind of based around an understanding of something that I don't have an understanding of. <laughs> and when it's describing things like the inside of a submarine or the inside of a spaceship I can't vis like I have no visual representation of that in my brain already so I'm finding it quite difficult to like align what I'm seeing with the, the very good descriptions that are being provided and there are moments where it does lose me a little bit and I'm a bit like <laughs> I don't understand I feel like it's made me test my myself a little bit because when you're reading a book about something that isn't your natural hobby or your natural interest you have to really kind of focus on what you're reading and you know I'm not going to dismiss it because it's about something that I'm not necessarily like invested in before reading this book because it's really interesting like it's absolutely fascinating I want to know more about this author and how he knows so much about this because it feels like very internal information that like only people who work in like NASA would know and there are sprinklings of beautiful descriptive moments throughout that I've underlined like you know you get a moment where it's like five pages of describing something super sciencey and then you'll get a line like this one while we waited for updates i tried to meditate to focus on the light on time distilled as a golden thread across the white plaster walls earth's rotation expressed through a coffee table a laptop the struck eyes of a crewmate like do you know what I'm saying? I'm really intrigued about how it's going to end and what my like final thoughts are going to be. At the moment, I genuinely don't know. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it and I would recommend it as a sci-fi book. Like if you're looking for a sci-fi book so far, I would really recommend it. Just my little check-in. <laughs> guys it is wednesday evening around 7 p.m and i am nearly finished i've nearly finished ascension i am on page 385 so i have that much left of the book i have so many thoughts <laughs> but also none <laughs> If this is based off of like what real astronauts and real scientists go through, I'm shocked. I had no knowledge on any of this at all. Nothing in my life has ever been 
about this, if you know what I mean. Like, I've had no... I've never read sci-fi. Like, I've watched sci-fi films, but they don't go into detail about, like, the symptoms that you have when you go into space or, like, the processes or what you go through, what your body goes through, what your mentality goes through. And it's absolutely fascinating reading about that. And I, like I said before, I really want to research this guy because how does he know this stuff? Is he an astronaut? Like, how... How does he know this stuff? I want to know. It's a strange book because I feel like it's not really made to be like this like dramatic narrative plot. It's made to be a very kind of scientific, groundbreaking research experiment book. The pacing to me seems a little bit strange because it feels like the final third of this should feel a lot more like reverent than it does is that the right word like reverent I felt like bigger deals could have been made out of some of the scenes in this book I don't know it feels very practical and I suppose the narrative voice of the woman is very practical maybe it's because it's from her POV but she is a scientist so that does make sense I honestly have so many mixed feelings on this book like I actually can't decide I am I am enjoying it but I, ugh, I am enjoying it like I am I'm eating it up like I've I'm it's going down the treat and I just, yeah I'm so intrigued how I'm gonna like feel after finishing this yeah thanks that's all <laughs> that is all for now give my thoughts on this book but I'm I can't wait this um, pff, this book has blown my mind I feel so like my whole world has just been shifted <laughs> this was a journey like the amount of emotions that I have gone through reading this book is insane I genuinely have so many mixed feelings towards it and yeah I just I needed to do it straight after finishing it because I'm all over the place right now, but I wanted to like capture <laughs> this like initial what the hell just happened moment. Okay, so, and I will give, I'll, I feel like later I will need to have a think about what I would even rate this book because I have no idea right now. In Ascension, <sighs> this book is very existential, existential, like it deals with the universe, space, microbiology, where life begins, familial relationships and how like we have no control over them. Like it's very, it's a very, it's, it's, uh, it's a science fiction book. So it's obviously from a very scientific point of view, but then it's also super poetic and there's literally moments of like poetic devices used in this book and it's crazy because it's like poetic and science together and like gone like this and yet I made notes as I was reading it and they're so contradictory because I had so many different emotions towards this book throughout at no point did I dislike this book at absolutely no point was I like oh ugh, let's go come on there were moments where I was like okay it's losing me it is losing me a little bit but it, these moments didn't last long at all they'd be like long moments of scientific description and then something would happen and then you'd be like oh okay so I'm, I'm back in the room like okay hello lights are on I'm really trying to like describe this well the notes that I've made through reading this book so the whole way through, I felt suspense. I wanted to know what the hell was going on, partly maybe because I had no idea what was going on. I kind of got the premise of like the actual physical acts that were taking place, but like the scientificness behind those acts, I, I do actually feel a little bit more knowledgeable after reading this book. It was absolutely fascinating 
learning about things that I would just ne- I've never learned about before and it genuinely feels like I was sat watching a film like it feels like I've just sat and watched Interstellar and cried all over again over Interstellar because I cry every single time I watch that film and I think this is being made into a film to be fair so I'm gonna watch that yeah it was super easy to read I got through it so quickly not easy to read in terms of like the scientific lingo but like the, the pace of it was like it never kept you sitting for too long. I was honestly shook by every stage of this book. Every single thing that happened, I was like, wait, what? I'm sorry, what? Or at the same time, I didn't actually think I was emotionally invested in the characters or in the plot until the end when I literally cried. I actually think that I cried because of the commentary on like where the world is going and you know, what we're doing to the planet, etc. I think that's why I got emotional because it all kind of came full circle by the end and it just felt like a revelationary moment where I was like, oh my God, yeah, this is mental. It's very gripping. I was very intrigued and curious the whole way through. And I actually wrote a note saying, I don't think this is meant to be a fiction book. I think this is meant to be like some kind of biography, like it's actually happened because that's what it felt like. I don't know. I need to do some research and I will come back to you. But honestly, what a book. I have such mixed feelings. I cried at the end. I feel like I've been through a whole journey reading this. I think it took me... When did I start reading this? I think it took me like four days to read. I really didn't want to like super rush it because I was enjoying it and I actually didn't really want it to end, but I wanted to know what was going to happen in the end. I'm feeling very contradictory emotions, but overall, I think the fact that it's brought this this out of me means that it was a very good book and it has done its job <laughs> for sure so i'm gonna sit on it for a little bit and then i will come back with like final thoughts ratings all of that but i just wanted to capture this initial like i've just finished the book and i feel all kinds of feelings moment with you i'll be back see you in a bit <laughs> okay guys it's been a minute and I'm finally ready to talk properly and like a sane person about in ascension. <sighs> okay, I've come to the conclusion that I'm going, I'm doing it now as we speak. I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to rate this book four and a half stars. My reason for it not being a five stars is for those moments where I did feel out of the loop with the lingo where I felt that some bits were a little bit dragged out because of the amount of detail. Like, for me, it seemed unnecessary detail. The ending did feel cathartic, but it also... No, the ending did feel cathartic. Okay, shush. Essentially, it didn't get five stars because of the moments where I felt a little bit lost and the moments where I felt like the amount of detail being given kind of took away from the fast-paced, like oh my god, what is going on feeling that I had through most of the book. But I have given it at such a high rating because of the visceral feelings that this book brought out of me and like every single page just being like a bit of a page turner. It's a page turner, well I'm sorry, like it's so cliche, but it's a, it's a page turning book. I felt the suspense, I felt so gripped, I felt fascinated by all the things that I partly didn't understand. I really am excited about this book, like I feel like I want to talk about it with people and I want to recommend it to people to see what they think because I don't think it would be a resounding 4.5 for a lot of people. I think honestly some people might even dislike this book I think it would very much be based on what interests you and like I said before I am not typically interested in things like space microbiology marine biology but this just really fascinated me and this is the fun part about books right we learn about things we never thought we would we enter worlds that I never thought <laughs> I've never even thought about going down that rabbit hole before there are some trigger warnings which I will put here now so just be careful but overall I've really honestly enjoyed my first first ever sci-fi read and I'm interested to read other sci-fis now to like see how this compares in my experience because obviously it's kind of hard to write a, a genre of book that you've never read before because I don't have anything to compare it to so I'm just going off of my initial experience how I felt reading it how I feel after reading it and would I recommend it to you and the answer is yes highly recommend it to you. So I'm going to do a little bit of research on the author and like how the hell he wrote this so like vividly and then I will again come back to you. <laughs> this is a bit all over the place, I apologise but talk to you later!
no guys this guy is cool this guy is cool he did a interview with the booker prize because did he win or was he nominated? He was long listed for the Booker Prize last year. Great. Guys, it's so dark right now. The clap. <gasps> the rain. Oh, right. Let me put a light on because this is so dark. Right. And it was winner of Blackwell's Book of the Year. Anyway, so there's an interview with the Booker Prize with the author who honestly looks just like any person. He looks like any man that you would see on the street, right? But he is a genius. I've decided he's a genius. First of all, this guy wrote this book pen to paper in his living room, pen to paper. I just love that so much. He also talks about the genre of sci-fi novels. So he's happy to call In Ascension a sci-fi, which I've been calling it this whole time. But he says that sci-fi shouldn't be seen as just like one thing. And he would hate for people to pick this up as a sci-fi novel and not get the things that they think are predictably about a sci-fi novel. So he says to kind of keep your genre-ness to a certain level. And then, this is why I love him, he goes on to talk about Virginia Woolf. Like, you wrote a sci-fi novel and he's referencing Virginia Woolf. But he says, and a sci-fi novel can be as highbrow as any other genre, can have strong characters and be filled with beautiful writing. I could go on for ages about sci-fi's direct links to wolf and modernism, the subjective and the impersonal, different levels of perspective, a single day in the life of a character and vast deserts of eternity. Wolf wrote a fan letter towards the end of her life and she says, you are grasping ideas that I have tried to express. You have gone much further and I can't help envying you. That's how I felt reading this book. I've heard people say that they don't read science fiction, science fiction, but they read this, and I'm torn about that. I'm obviously happy if they're reading me, but it's a pity they thought sci-fi was only one thing. Fascinating. He also goes on to say that he wouldn't class this as a climate change novel because everything now is a document of this event that we are rolling out and living through and will be considered as such more broadly in the future. So he's basically saying that every book written whilst we're going through climate change could technically be seen as a climate change novel. Let's not just say the book that is directly referencing climate change is a climate change novel, if that makes sense. And then, you know how we're speaking about the ending and feeling like kind of mixed feelings about it, even though I did cry and like I think it was a great ending and it felt more real that it ended the way that it did rather than it being some like neat bow tied together. He says, I don't want to finish a novel and feel that everything is completed, settled, the experience is over. I want to continue living with the books I love most. He says, I work hard at getting the right balance between mystery and revelation as a reader it's something i prize an irresolvable quality a lasting strangeness literally the one the main character in the book actually says the world is not reasonable and can never be made reasonable it is much more interesting than that yes it is and then he, he's asked about the like deep scientific knowledge that's in this book and this is where i'm fascinated because of how the hell he made this feel so realistic and as if i was literally reading from a nasa notebook is insane because he says he doesn't have any formal scientific experience at all but he's just really interested in the topic and just reads a lot about it and he wanted to explore it through fiction this is crazy. He read some surprisingly speculative NASA and ESA journal articles on long-range space travel, as well as book-length histories of the spacesuit, but at a certain point you have to step back and appreciate the limits of research. So like it is a fiction book, it just feels so real. Whoa! He did travel to Ascension Island and then by ship to the Cape Verde Islands. I love this guy. Okay, this is kind of about the main character, so I don't really want to give too much away, but it's a basically, he's saying that it's very much a novel about humanity and relationships and connection as much as it is about, like, the external to us, like, the microbiomes, the marine biology, the space elements of it. I love this guy. I think he's an absolute G. I think he's an absolute genius, and I love it even more now. He referenced Wolf. What a guy. What a guy. Like, what else has he written? Because I want to I wanna read his stuff. So he's got two other books. Are they sci-fi too? Oh, mystery sci-fi. Oh, wow. Okay. Apparently this is a mix of everything. 
mystery, sci-fi, horror, fantasy. Huh? I want to read that. Okay, and then what's the other one? Gathering evidence. Okay, so I think they're all kind of about the connection between the natural world and people. What a fascinating guy and what a fascinating book. I highly recommend this book, guys. Highly. It's been a journey. It's been a journey, but that is the end of my sci-fi reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that a lot of you go out and try this book. Honestly chuffed because I've read a book that I now I'm kind of obsessed with and will be researching for the foreseeable. I've read an author who I now want to read everything he's ever written and read everything about him, every interview he's ever done. And I've read a new genre that I never would have just picked up without doing something like this. So absolutely over the moon about all of this coming together so nicely. The next book that I'm gonna be picking up is Boy Parts by Eliza Clark, which is my like horror thriller pick for the month. If you've read that, let me know in the comments if I should be prepared to be traumatised. I am excited to read it. I think it's going to be quite a fast book to read. Oh, sorry. I think it's going to be quite a fast book to read, so I am excited, but I haven't read a horror. I haven't read a horror. I am a little bit scared, but I'm hopefully going to just fire through it. Do I read it at night? This is a good question, but that's going to be my next video, so keep your eyes peeled, and I I really appreciate you guys watching and commenting. I've had such lovely comments, and it honestly makes my day. So thank you so much, guys. I will see you in the next one, and I'm excited!